Chris? Thank you. The toy guy from New York City. Brad, you know what? Yes. We wanted to go out there and see that thing. Wouldn't that be fun to go to the toy show in New York? Yes, and we would make it back in time for our, our, <laughs> our show. So, okay. Hey, uh, Dan. Yes, sir. Um, listen, the Tennis Channel is the, uh, the sponsor of this Open, and uh, they heard me about where I'm going to attempt to do uh, 156, so they send the man, the myth, the legend, the creator and owner of the Tennis Channel, Mr. Stephen Bellamy, with me. And, of course, you're very happy to take over sponsorship for this, but the Tennis Channel, where can we watch that? Well, in the Phoenix area, you can see it on Quest. Great. Uh, hopefully, we'll have it on Cox here pretty soon. Yeah, and what's as really well as satellite? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Well, I, have to, I got to bring this up. I don't have much time because I, I got to talk about you because you've done something that I think a lot of people love to do. Your passion is tennis, so you've created a TV station, a show, and also you're sponsoring tennis, which is awesome. Uh, you know, we love tennis. We really believe in tennis. We believe that it's the, the best professionally played sport now, so we are investing in it at all costs. So, and now you you work with a lot of celebrities out of LA. That's where you've been. Who's your Who's your favorite one to work with? Uh, you know, I don't do it as much anymore, but probably Arnold Schwarzenegger was the, the favorite guy uh, for working with. Is he pretty good? Uh, he was spectacular at tennis, and he he kind of brought a work ethic. Uh, you know, he was never sitting stagnant. I mean, he was always running around the court while I'm talking to him, and you know, running in place, doing push-ups, and you know, <laughs> you, you, you understand how he got where he is. And I got to talk you up more because first time being here in the Valley is he's already teamed up for hockey fans who are going to miss out on hockey, and you're doing something special for today and tomorrow. Yeah, you know, we're, again, we're really passionate about tennis. We know hockey fans are passionate about hockey, and it's not trying to steal hockey fans, but we're, uh, you know, anybody who wears a Coyote jersey Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday uh, gets in free, or the first 500 get in free. That's cool. So, you know, those guys who are missing out on hockey, come on out here. The men are playing at the Fairmont Scottsdale Princess. You catch it on the Tennis Channel, which is on the Quest, which is pretty cool. And, of course, you know, just come on out. And, of course, this guy's a family guy. The family's out here enjoying You want to say hi to your kids? They're, they're hey, watching. kids. Robbie, oh, Roscoe, Lucas, Lincoln, <laughs> Beth. Yeah. All right. We're going to go back and talk to him because he's going to be one of the people to see me do 156 mile per hour uh, serve. So let me go ahead and talk uh, some temperatures really quick today. Chance of showers with 65 tomorrow. We'll see 60, I'm sorry, 68, 65 tomorrow, Wednesday, 63, Thursday, 65, Friday, 67. I've been told they want me to move it back to the 8 o'clock hour, Dan. So that means, so I guess they want to call some people. Uh, but <laughs> I have my wins. I have Rick here. I have Gus here. I have that girl from UCLA here. Those two people over there. And then, of course, Mr. Bellamy here of the Tennis Channel. And uh, if, if, I, if I do it, you're going to put it on maybe? Oh, absolutely. We're going to give you your own show. If you can get one of <laughs> you know what's really ironic about this thing is, yeah, your whole life's a racket, my friend. <laughs> Babu. All right. Thanks, Brad. All right. We'll wait patiently. Good morning, Arizona. Dan? Yeah? Uh, are, you a are you a tennis player? I never asked you that this morning. Uh, my what? Are you a tennis player? I didn't ask you that. Uh, I used to be when I was a camp counselor, but I haven't played in years because, you know, I got the old uh, bad knee thing going. Yeah. Well, you know, I know, you know who plays big time? Connie Hawkins. He is like the, like the man of tennis. And he's one of those people who's mean, too. I talked about, uh, Mr. Bellamy, I talked about how senior citizens, women, older women, are, they're brutal on the golf, I mean, on the tennis court. And, and you should know, since you, you have places over in L.A., but we want to talk about the Tennis Channel really quick, which is uh, on Quest here in the Arizona area yep. that you can catch uh, the Open this week on. And uh, just really quick, how long has it been around just recently? How long has Tennis Channel been? Yeah. Uh, about two years. Two uh, years. Yeah. Great. And, of course, you can catch everything on there. And uh, we also want to um, we wanted to talk about a little bit, too, about... Uh, just um, tennis in general, the guys that are going to be out here. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I can't uh, empathize with you enough to come out and watch. The, the artistry and the, the uh, style of professional tennis has just exploded over the last decade, and uh, your, your big-time tennis is spectacular to watch. So, and we got to mention this. Young Guns, the guy down here, Germany, look at the fashionable. Fashions have changed a lot, yeah. haven't they? Uh, they certainly have, yes. Uh, yeah. So, what about those, the Brian brothers? I know, where they go? They took uh, off somewhere. I know. Us, yeah. Talking of that, you're talking about tennis players. Gus, come out of here. Gus. Sambros, who is, of course, the older and most gorgeous professional brother of Pete Sambros. Gorgeous? I yeah. wouldn't use that word. But wouldn't use that? <laughs> Gus and I, we met actually uh, the first time I ever came out here, and it's always been a great event. And uh, this year, you guys definitely got the Tennis Channel 
as your sponsor, and you guys are looking forward to having young guns out here. Yeah, yeah, we got some young players uh, coming up the ranks, and uh, you're going to be taking one on in a few, huh? So I'm, I'm thinking about the kid's 15 years old, right? Yeah, you might be able to get a, maybe return to serve. <laughs> All right, this week I know we have rain coming our, our way, but of course you guys are still going to be out here playing up until the you know rain is uh, pretty much really hard. Yeah, we we were fortunate over the weekend you know, with all the rain that came into the valley that we were able to get most all, all our matches done, and uh, we'll continue to play around the rain. We like that, and of course the gates open day. Ten o'clock is the first match. Yeah, ten o'clock, and the evening session starts tonight at seven, and then uh, ten and uh, six thirty the rest of the week. Like that, and then of course we are talking today and tomorrow, not Wednesday. Of course, Mr. Bell, we wanted to give a little bit of extra out yeah. there. But no, today and tomorrow, Coyote fans, wear your Coyote jerseys and you get in free, which is cool. And now I think your family's watching. You want to say hi to them? Uh, hey, kids. Robbie, Roscoe, Lucas, Lincoln, Beth. Everybody Quit jumping on the beds, kids. Quit jumping on the beds. They're staying here. So Quit jumping. let's go ahead and uh, do some quick weather. And uh, I hope you're all ready because here it is, ladies and gentlemen. 156 mile per hour uh, serve I will be uh, doing. 55. Right now, humidity at 74% went out of the, oh, there we go. Okay, 68 degrees today with some showers. Tomorrow, 65 with showers in the forecast. Wednesday, 63. Thursday, 65. And Friday, 67. You know, it's really great. These guys are all like friends out here, even though they compete against each other. So, um, Rick, are you ready? All right. Uh, oh, I guess we have to hard wrap, Dan. Oh. You, I th you know, I think we got Tara on the phone. Do we have Tara? Is Tara here? Tara on the phone? Dan? I don't think so. No, oh, I thought we had Tara talk about, oh, okay, maybe she's going to got footage from, because she had her press credentials for the All-Star game, I don't know. Bradley? Yeah. Enough.